All right, it's at Love Clark. Muslim man sues Oklahoma gun range for refusing him service. Uh huh. Typical. Look at these guys in the background. Muslims. Traitor. Muslim. Jew. Muslim. Afro. Okay? Now, according to the report, uh, 17, 2016, Fateha, a U.S. Army reservist who was asked to leave a gun range in Oklahoma after identifying himself as a Muslim is suing the owners in federal court, pushing back again. Okay, here we go. Look, U.S. Army reservist from Tulsa asked to leave a gun range in eastern Oklahoma after identifying himself as a Muslim. Sued the owners Wednesday the latest in a series of cases across the nation alleging anti-Islamist discrimination. The lawsuit on behalf of 29-year-old Raji Fatiha, a Fatia, an employee with the Oklahoma Department of Human Services was filed in U.S. District Court in Muskogee against the owners of Save Yourself Survival and Tactical Gun Range in the small towns of Okta. Aktaha. A side posted on the business declared a range Muslim free establishment and similar to signs that have been placed at businesses in Florida, Arkansas, Kentucky, and New York, said Brady Henderson, legal director for Oklahoma for the chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union, which filed the suit. Whether the sign in question says no Muslims or whether it says no coloreds or whether it says no women or no Christians or no Buddhists, it is just an un-American and fundamentally it is just as wrong, Henderson said. Fatia, who is a board member with the Muslim Advocacy Group Council on American Islamic Relations, Oklahoma chapter said he went to the gun range after learning about the sign. He said the owners of the store were pleasant and welcoming until he told them he was a Muslim. At that point, they started treating me with suspicion, Fatia said. Well, well no wonder. <laughs> That's the way of the world, man. Wake up. Go back to the Muslim countries. That's what I think. I mean, shit, what do you expect? A similar lawsuit was filed by CAIR last year against a gun shop in Florida, but that case was dismissed by a federal judge who determined CAIR could not prove its members were harmed by the store's Muslim free policy, Henderson said. Robert Muse, with the American Freedom Law Center, represented the Florida gun shop owner and now is working for Chad Neal, the owner of the Oklahoma gun range. Muse and Fatia has denied service. Muse said Fatia was denied service because he was belligerent, not because of his religion, and that the sign declaring the shop a Muslim free business is protected free speech. The only thing the law prohibits is somebody denies service strictly basi on the basis of religion. And that didn't happen here, Muse said. Fatia denies that he acted belligerently. You really believe that? You believe this guy didn't act belligerent? I don't. Look at his face. Look at how cocky he looks. He's a snake. He planned all this. He's probably smart enough to plan this just for a lawsuit. I mean, you know, go up to any place that you find out might be a, um, say non-Muslim or something like that, with signs like that, you, that's a setup for a lawsuit, you know? But what were you expecting? You saw the signs you can read. It said no Muslims. So why did you act like you were outraged when, uh, when they treated you that way when you said you're a Muslim, okay? Doesn't make any sense, does it? You don't make any sense doing that. 
you're stupid. And uh, anyone that re rewards you for money for that is just dumb, okay? Because, and you're smart for getting it then, okay? Claims of discrimination by business owners against Muslims have been reported in numerous states and formal complaints have been filed with the U.S. Department of Justice regarding incidents in Arkansas, Florida, and New Hampshire, said CARES National Director Ibrahim Hooper. Okay? It's one of those issues that's tied to the overall rise of anti-Muslim bigotry in our society, Hooper said. Yeah, they want you to think that. They want you to say that. Because in one way it's true, in one way it's not. Because uh, people have their own reasons, but it's a lot of it's uh, false flags stuff and uh, fake wars. They just force you into controlled opposition. Okay. Anyway, this is another controlled opposition. It's like I said before, this hits a bunch of birds with one stone. Okay. It's one of those issues that's tied to the overall rise of anti-Muslim bigotry in our society. U.S. Department of Justice spokesman Dina Iverson declined to comment Wednesday on the status of the complaints. A report l released Wednesday by the Civil Rights Advocacy Group, the Southern Poverty Law Center, suggests that anti-Islamic rhetoric is increasing and becoming more mainstream. Well, hello, the way that they uh, do the controlled opposition and make you guys think all this stuff's happening. Of course, this is what's gonna, what they expect you to think. Duh. Wake up, America. Wake up. Jeez. Okay, this is so mixed up. A report. Okay, yeah, uh, let's see. It's increasing and becoming more mainstream, the rhetoric is particularly after the terrorist attacks in Paris and San Bernardino, California. The group noted an increase in the number of anti-Islamic hate groups from 24 in 2013 to 34 in 2014, and that number likely will increase again once data from 2015 is compiled, said Heidi Birick, SPLC's intelligence director. Intelligence director? That sounds like... CIA type sounding crap. Like, what do you need that for? My feelings is that anti-Muslim and anti-LGBT sentiment will continue to rise, said Barrett, who blamed politicians for perpetuating the fears Americans have of terrorism and the Islamic State. Let me read that again, because the person that stating this this statement right here is meant to go another way, but they're telling on themselves and telling on each other and the whole country. They're telling on the government right here, okay? And the, and the Illuminati and Masons and all that shit. New World Order, okay? Now listen. My feeling is that anti-Islam... Anti, excuse me. My feeling is that anti-Muslim and anti-LGBT sentiment will continue to rise, said Barrett, who claimed politician who blamed, listen, who blamed politicians for perpetuating the fears Americans have of terrorism and the Islamic State. Do you understand? She just told on them. They point to the fact that they have been attacked by Muslim extremists and then they foster fear connected to these attacks. She just told on them. Just listen to, read between the lines. Follow Sean Murphy at www.twitter.com. Okay? This is propaganda. Uh, lots of propaganda with one stone, in my opinion. Okay? Now I'm going to share a video that I already had, but I'm going to put it on a playlist with this to connect them. And, uh, it's a Black Panther on there saying that there's not black people out there training to shoot at gun ranges and stuff. Well, here's one. So you can't say that because this guy was a, a U.S. Army re revert reservist and then he said there was no black people in the... No, there's no people in the black community 
that was training with firearms and stuff, and no veterans out there to sh guide and show, teach, or direct anyone. Well, here's one. Okay, so you can't say that's all the way true. Okay, even though I agree with mo most of what you say, I'm gonna share my video with yours, and uh, that's what I think about this guy. Look at him. You think he wasn't? You think he wasn't belligerent when he was denied uh, access to the firing range because after he said he was Muslim? On top of being black, you know he was belligerent. Now, this wouldn't have even got out of hand if it wasn't belligerent. They wouldn't even said he was being belligerent if he wasn't being belligerent. I don't. Fatia denies he acted belligerently. Well, wouldn't you deny it if you're trying to lawsuit? Hell yeah. Look at him. Ugh, he's a ugly. Look at look at that. Look at that. Look at his tongue. Ooh, monkey, monkey, monkey! Alright, you know, I know that sounds mean. I'm just trying to point out the ignorance. I don't care how people look, honestly. It's just funny to point out. Monkey, man. And they had to have a mixed one. Why couldn't they have a black or darker? Why couldn't they have a darker one? Obviously, Arab, Muslim, Jew, Muslim, once again. Okay, look at this. Well, do you think this guy's not uh, belligerent with anyone? Look at that face and tell me he's not. 